I know there's a lot of people that don't have welders and want to make a motorized scooter. Either a chainsaw, a snowblower, or just a regular weed eater scooter or motor. So instead of welding, you can bolt. You can just get all you need is a drill and you're set. And a couple nuts and bolts. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so here's one of my uh, motorized scooters that I've built. And uh, as you can see, I've welded mine. But I'll show you how to how you can uh, go a different route. Now, right here, okay, as you can see, this is welded. Now, all you have to do is make this a little bit longer, drill a hole through there, and drill a hole through here. Now, on this one, it's friction driven, so you want your crankshaft on the tire tight so that it gets good grip. Okay. So you would do is you would drill a hole in here, drill a hole in here, bolt it, okay? Now you have something that pivots, okay? Now you would take any angle you want, maybe a 45 degree angle, and put a bolt, put a drill drill a hole here, drill a hole here, and then if you get a piece of steel or a piece of iron, anything you want, even a piece of, of aluminum to keep it light, just bolt it there, bolt it there. Screw some nuts in and bolts, and you're set. The only thing is, is you want to uh, use lock nuts so that the vibrations don't unloosen the screws. Okay, so, and then you can do the same thing here. You can bolt right here and bolt to there, and then you're set. Just make sure it's not hitting the tire. Okay, and then on this side, Here is the uh, mount that holds the motor on. Now all this is, is a piece of steel, a piece of uh, steel that goes right, right here. So it's a 90 degree angle. So now instead of welding it like I have, you can just bolt it here, bolt it there. Because you have all these different holes that you can bolt it there. So. As you can see, this is on the, fa the face of the metal. So all you would need to do is figure out so that your metal doesn't hit the tire or um, your crank isn't too far over the tire or not far enough on the tire. Okay, so then after that, you've got the mounting done. And then the next thing is you want to make sure your cover is still on. This prevents it from overheating. Um, then your last thing you have to do is, or no, you have two more things to do. Um, you have to adjust the carburetor. There's that screw right there. Now you can go on uh, YouTube and figure out how to adjust that. Since it's got to carry, since it's got to carry you around, it's uh, not used to that load. So you'll have to unscrew, on this one, there's only one adjustment screw. So you'd have to unscrew that a couple, a couple turns, maybe like two, uh, I think three or four complete turns, and then, and then this is adjusted right, and then the final adjustment while you're riding. And then your final thing you have to do is you have to hook up a throttle system, okay? So that's easy. All you need to do is get a brake nut and, nut and bolt right here, get a couple washers, and just hook it up like a regular bike cable. And you can run it along here or even through that hole and come out. Where's the other hole? And it's right on the other side of this. And then you just bring it up. And you don't need any special uh, uh, lever. You just use a regular brake one. And it's pretty simple. Um, and then all you got to do is put some gas in it and go for a sweet ride.